Today I'm making a video. Uh, I don't know what it's about yet. I think we might cook some freaking food, which would be awesome. Um, or I'll just record my shenanigans. Uh, one of my coworkers said, where's your new video this week? And I said, I don't know. <laughs> I'm out of ideas. Well, kind of not really. I'm just lazy. So, yeah. But this week, I've been discovering Jenna Marbles. Her recent videos are pretty freaking awesome. It made me realize, you can make a video that doesn't make sense, and isn't good, and people will still watch it, okay? So, that's this video. Sorry. If you're here still, then good for you. And here's my lovely assistant for the day. She is currently brainstorming all the recipes. Uh, we kind of have, like, a difference in values though. She kind of wants to make filet mignon and I'm not really down for that. So we'll see what happens. Right kitty? So we have basically no food right now. Um, that's pretty much my fault. So we have lots of unwashed, unprepped veggies. Don't mind the dirt. Things just came from the farm. And we have lots of condiments and stuff like that. Things aren't really sterile in this house, just in case you were wondering. I think we're going to make a lemon asparagus pasta with this stuff, um, but we don't have any good lemons, so I think we're going to have to go to the grocery store. So, <laughs> one of the reasons I haven't really made a video is talking to a camera by yourself is just kind of weird. Um, and I feel like it's weird in a different way than recording a video on social media. Oh, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Anyway, I feel like it's different than recording a video on social media because you know that there are people like actually watching you and I feel like that's not a weird thing to do, um, to like use a cell phone to record yourself, but <laughs> it's definitely weird to carry a giant ass camera with you, um, at the grocery store. So we'll see how that goes. So far I haven't had very positive experiences. Um, with recording people, people don't really like you to record them on your camera, it turns out. So, we'll see how that goes, and hopefully people don't think I'm totally crazy. 2101, please, John. I've noticed something. You can get away with filming anywhere if you hold the camera, like, at waist level. No one knows you're recording. If you hold it like in front of your face or like way out from your body, people are like, what are you doing? One, zero. Okay, literally the best thing just happened. Didn't I tell you people don't like cameras? <laughs> so I was just finishing at the self-checkout, which you just saw me record. And then, like, you know how there's, like, one lady who, like, watches the self-checkout or whatever. I look up at her and she's like, okay. And I was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I was just, uh, recording a YouTube video of cooking and this is part of it. <laughs> there was, like, this long, awkward silence and finally she was like, all right, to each their own. And I was like, okay, bye. <laughs> All right, we made it. I'm looking up the recipe. We have like a recipe manager app, which is really helpful. Um, I have love-hate feelings about this. I really like paper stuff. Uh, it would be a lot easier for me sometimes if we had like a binder or something that had all of our favorites in it, but this also works. But I want it load. Come on, we got shit to do. Here we have the recipe, well, the ingredients at least. We're gonna need a bunch of asparagus, Probably gonna wash that first. We need salt, pepper, lemons, which we just acquired. Bam! Olive oil, garlic, um, pasta. I don't like bow tie pasta. I think it tastes different than the other pastas. Sorry for you bow tie pasta people. Almond milk, but we're gonna make our own cashew milk, flour. On a side note, I'm wearing headphones because I wanna listen to music while I cook. I don't know about you, but who likes to just stand there and cook in silence? and talk to a camera by themselves. But the internet's gotta be all like difficult and copyright and yeah, so. I'm listening to some good old rap music right now. Surprise. 
Sorry if I'm like talking really loud. I have no idea how loud I'm talking with these things in. Yeah, 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 yeah. like a uh, rap music video someday. Did you know you can literally eat lemons? Just like eat them like oranges and they're amazing. There's lemon juice on my camera. Seriously, you should try it sometime. You can literally eat the whole thing like peel and all. All right, bitches. We've got all our ingredients gathered together. So we have garlic. I'm actually gonna need more garlic than this. I realized that we have like a buttload of asparagus and it's probably gonna make two recipes. So we have salt. This one's pink Himalayan salt. We got fresh pepper. Oh yeah. Uh, these are the cashews we're gonna use to make the cashew milk for the sauce. We're gonna need another one of these since we're doubling the recipe. We've got some nooch, which is actually an ingredient I didn't realize was included, but luckily we had it. Lemons, we're gonna need two more, and all of the flour that we're gonna need. So, without further ado, let's get this baby started. This is gonna be kind of interesting because our oven is broken, and apparently we have to bake the asparagus for 20 to 25 minutes with the lemon. So we're going to attempt to do this in the toaster oven and see how that works out. Gonna go ahead and preheat our little toaster oven here. This baby was $10 at the DI. $10, people. Works like a charm. Pretty much use it for all our baking now since our oven's a piece of crap. Our lemon is cut, so now we are going to work with our asparagus. Isn't it beautiful? Um, we need to cut the ends off these woody parts. They're actually just kind of really hard. I don't know if you can really like tell the difference, but they're not really good to eat. Let's see what our lovely assistant is up to, shall we? Oh man! Are you sleeping on the job? You're supposed to be cooking! Filet mignon! Wrapped in bacon, huh? What do you call this? Doesn't seem very productive. All right, you're cute. I'll let you off the hook. But next time we do a cooking video, you better shape up, Missy. All right, my dudes, so we have the water boiling for the pasta. We have the asparagus, asparagus, asparagus cooking in the um, toaster oven. God, what is it with that word today? Um, so we're gonna go ahead and make our almond milk, or cashew milk, um, so we can start the sauce on the stove. We're gonna go ahead and take three fourths of a cup of cashews. These are unsalted raw. We're just going to add that to four cups of water and then we're going to blend this with our high power blender.
All right, so we're going to go ahead and start the sauce. Um, we're going to start six tablespoons of olive oil since we're doubling the recipe and start browning the garlic. Um, then we're going to add some flour and kind of get a thickness started. <laughs> Don't you judge my stove, by the way. I know it's dirty, but we actually like to cook over here. We don't have a microwave, so... That's a lot of oil. Yeah, I'm gonna need to be on a diet. Looks like our asparagus and lemons are done. Maybe even a little bit overdone in some places. Oh! oh my God. Doesn't that look beautiful? I'm gonna try not to drop it on the floor. Oh yeah. All right, so this is starting to brown up a little and I don't wanna burn it. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next step, um, which is to add the flour and then slowly whisk in the milk. It says to whisk in the flour and then cook for 30 seconds. I don't even know how to time that. <laughs> Hopefully this isn't a disaster. Originally I thought this was so much oil, but now it almost seems like not enough. By the way, fun fact, um, some sources claim that cooking in cast iron can boost the iron content of your food. I have no idea if that's true. Um, but since vegans are like gonna die of an iron deficiency, it seems like a pretty good idea to me. Has it been 30 seconds? Okay, I have no idea how long it's been, but this seems pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and start stirring in the milk. I have five cups. I guess I doubled the recipe, it calls for two and a half. So we're gonna start whisking. For those of you who think I actually know how to cook, I really have no idea what I'm doing. Our water is boiling, so we're going to go ahead and start the pasta according to the package instructions. All right, people, it's the moment of truth. Sauce is done, at least I think it is. It's thickened up quite a bit. We're gonna pour the sauce into the pasta and it's going to be fabulous. Get ready. So now we are going to add our nooch. This is like a vegan flavoring called nutritional yeast. Nooch for short, gonna toss that sucker in there. Oh yeah. Okay, and we're going to mix it. You know, it's really hard to hold a camera and do this at the same time. Skills, bitch. In case you can't hear it, that is like the world's most unappetizing sound. What is that? Does all pasta do that? All right, pasta's done, so now we're gonna plate this. We have this beautiful square plate. This is like some cuisine right here. Oh God, get a little on there. So you don't actually mix the lemon and the asparagus into the dish. You just kind of set it beautifully on top. Oh boy, making a mess. So now we're going to take some asparagus. You gotta make sure you get some beautiful ones with this little tip. Watch me like plate this all stupid for this video. I should have prepped better for this. You gotta get some lemon slices in there. Oh yeah, look at that boy. Oh. All right, look at this beautiful dish. This is what our lunches this week are going to look like. So, because this is tradition for every food making video on YouTube, I have to take a bite. Looks really hot though. Mm. 
It's so good. It's like unbelievably creamy. I know you jealous. You gotta make this shit. It only took like maybe 30 minutes without making the video. I don't really know. I can't do that math. Hell yeah. Well guys, thanks for watching this random video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, okay? I'll cook more shit. Maybe I'll share it with you. Maybe I won't.